What's up guys, it's TRT77, here with my week 10 game of season 4 of the BDL vs Tone. Now, Tone's replacement coach, he has replaced Viz, he's probably the coach I know the least about, uh, with reference to pretty much everyone else, but um, this he's, he's actually, uh, I think I've only seen one game of his and he played really well against Scrum. And uh, going into this game, I'm I'm just gonna make a few things clear, which is one, I feel like from he especially the last week and the, like onwards, I just wanted to stop bringing what would ideally be my best teams against people, and that is something that I've just I like with this builder. Like I'm not gonna go very in depth into this builder, but basically you can see that this is probably not. Uh, my best six against him just based on matchup but however this does seem to be a game that if i win we do lock up the playoff by we do lock up the top spot as well if i win so let's hope that we go into this with the, and we can just finish this off and just get the dub uh i'm bringing Serp. um i'm bringing galvantula again for webs getting choice scarf victini back in um Set up Fini, uh, offensive Aerodactyl with three attacks and stealth rocks, and we're just going with a pretty standard sub Nido King. Now jumping into the game, guys. As you can see, he's brought quite a scary team. I kind of wishing right now that I probably went for a more uh, conservative team against him, but you know, worst case, we can always figure out what what are his best sets against us because I think there's still more in it for him than for us this game. Because I'm pretty sure if certain results go away, we still make the buy, or if we win our last week, we still get the buy. Whereas uh, he's probably fighting for the buy at a more difficult position at this stage. So I'm just gonna lead off Galvanchla here because I think webs are crucial. And uh, again, he just has the one defogger, so I think he's gonna lead either Dawn or he's gonna lead Kanga. Uh, I don't see if if he leads Mega Galade, that's a really good shot at us getting a lot of uh, chip on it. So I'm not super worried. Um, we lead Gal when he leads Ganga. Here, I'm just gonna set up webs because even if he clicks fake out, fine, so be it. We get webs the next turn. Uh, here, I'm just gonna go for the Thunder, but he does reveal the Sucker Punch. So we do lose Gal early, which is not great. I do think maybe I should have predicted this or moved, switched Mons here, but uh, you live in your lawn, I guess. But here, I'm just gonna go into Finny and start setting up. I don't know his item yet, but I know that he can't really do a whole lot about me setting up with Kanga. But he reveals Taunt on Finny, which is really unfortunate for me because I know he's going to have Defog in the set. And he does Defog, but I'm just going to stay in here. I'm going to go for the damage and we get some beautiful damage on Taunt. So here, I don't care what he switches into, I'm clicking Surf again. But he stays in and we get confused, but we break through and we take out Taunt. So two really quick kills early in the game. But I am liking my position because I've gotten rid of his... Uh, of his uh, defogger, so rocks are here to stay. Now I'm thinking more than ever, maybe I should have conserved Galvantula. Uh, he goes into Zerk, I have to switch here because if he specs, he does kill me. And uh, go to Nido King, I get the freest sub of my life. Um, Kangaskhan comes back in and we go for the Earth Power, which shows me that he is completely Assault Vested. Um, I'm pretty sure this was a min roll, but it does come to matter later, but yeah, it's, it's, it is what it is. Here I'm just gonna switch and I'm going to go into Aerodactyl. Now my reasoning for going into Aerodactyl here is, one, didn't want m too much damage on Fini depending on his spread. Did not want Nido King, Serp, or Victini getting parried. Because their body slam, as you know, has the 30% para chance. And he does body slam. And we do get Barad. And this is absolutely horrible for us. But you know what? Here, I'm just going to get off my rocks. If he kills me, he kills me. So be it. And we get up our rocks here. And he goes to the knockoff here. And I'm assuming he is Choice Scarf based on his... Ba Honestly, I, I assumed he was Choice Scarf during the game. And for some reason, I missed the Intimidate. As in, I put it on my calc. But I just assumed he was Moxie. And I was like, here, I was like... You know what, I'm going to dual wing beat, then I'm going to switch out so that he can't knock me out and get the moxie boost. But we get fully parried, which is absolutely unfortunate here because now we have to go into Serp. But we probably should have noticed he was intimidated and just sacked Arrow there and just gone into Serp on a free switch. 
But no matter here, all we have to do is uh, click Leech Seed. But he stays in for some reason, which I don't understand why he stayed in. Because he had absolutely nothing to gain from staying in, unless he was predicting maybe a double. And and here, I'm just going to go for the Leaf Storm. And Serp is going to get rid of Crook. And here, I'm in a really good position, because if you look at the rest of his team, we outspeed Gallade. Uh, Scarf Zerk doesn't kill us. Kanga doesn't take a plus two hit. Arcanine is not going to enjoy either getting... Uh, Arcanine is probably his only mon that he can switch into and he will take Chip and or Leech Seed and or Glare. So we've got options here. So, and Arcanine will lose him momentum at the end of the day because I will sack Arrow, I will get the freest Fini switch in or I will go into Nidoking. I'll be fine. Uh, so, here... I had to see what he goes for, and he goes into Kanga, but after rocks, this guaranteed kills. And we miss the Leaf Storm. Uh, mm. Yeah, this was tough. This game was tough as a whole for me, and here we're gonna lose Serp. Uh, that was definitely very unfortunate, but it, it is what it is. It, it, this is the game we play. We did have... It's not even like the first time this has happened this season where Serp has missed out. You know, being like a, a roll against Chelsea, which was 85 87.5 to Oko, missing versus Primal when it could have swept then and there. But it is what it is. Such is the game we play. We choose to play Pokemon, you, you can send to hacks. Here I have to go into Fini because I don't really have a choice at this point. And that low roll on Nido King is starting to matter here because he is just out of range of me going into either into Victini and being able to click both strike because if I had to click V create here I lose all the momentum and I have to lose a Pokemon anyway. So I go Fini here. I'm just hoping I can calm mine and hopefully get some chip on this thing. Um I get the draining kiss off here and we do crit and we get a good decent chunk back. But this is a tough position to be in so I'm just gonna sack arrow here because I don't really have a choice. And uh, arrow is pretty useless at this point anyway. And here I'm just going to go into Nido King. I am just going to click Earth Power. No predictions, no reads. And Kangaskhan goes down. But we're in a really bad position after losing Serp. Because the only thing we have outspeeding Gallade now is Scarf Victini. And if, if he has even a remote bit of bulk, we create as a roll. It's not going to kill. So it is a very very tough situation to be in right now and uh, he goes into Gallade here and I have to switch out because I'm fearing the Zen headbutt and I'm sacking Finny here but then he goes to the drain punch again here I can't risk the knockoff and lose my Victini here so I just have to sack here and he reveals Thunder Punch so Tapu Finny is gonna go down here and we again like at this point I have to go Victini I have to hope he chokes that's the only thing we can play for at this stage and I do click the U-turn to bring him into V-Create range. And he goes for a Thunder Punch on Victini, which is kind of curious because I'm not sure what his... Whether he doesn't have knockoff or he doesn't have uh, a Psychic move. Here, I'm going to double back into Victini, predicting a Drain Punch. But uh, he bulks up, which is really bad for us. And here, I have to go for the V-Create because I need the damage. And he does a lot of damage. Again, we have to go into Nero King here. And he doubles into Arcanine. Which, um, now, as you can see, Arcanine is going to outspeed and take us out with Flare Blitz. So, um, now we're just going to Victini. It's just a formality now. I, the only way I win this now is Bolt Strike Paras. And we don't even, we get the low roll on this and then Arcanine goes down. I don't think this was, uh, this was not like a min roll. There was a bunch of min rolls that were involved in the game, but this was not like a really bad, this was, I think it was like a 50-50 roll, but... Um, depending on its spread with bulk, it didn't really matter at this point. We did lose the game, but we do get that one extra kill for our differential. And here, I 100% I lose the circuitry, so... Um, this is a consequence, I guess, of not running a psychic move on Victiri. Maybe I could have gone for Zen Headbutt flinches as a win con. But um, that is how it's going to roll out here. Uh, Victini is going to go down. And uh, we're going to lose O2 return. Um, games like this is honestly why I like recording games. I know it sounds weird, but like, I was so tilted the second Surf died this game when we played the game. And I just like it, like like being able to record these games because I can actually look back at them and see maybe finer players that I could have gotten better. And the other thing is also, these sort of games, the thing is, it's not like I don't get hacked even 
in the games I win. And it's not like I don't get hacks in my favor either. But these sort of games, I can always learn from the prep of my opponents. And, and Tone prepped really well for this game. He brought the perfect Tone set. He brought a really good Kangaskhan set. And clearly brought the perfect Arcanine set. So, um, I um, even though Arcanine, I'm assuming, was just timid max. Oh, sorry, jolly max. And that was it. But still... It was the way he played this game was really good. He managed his win conditions, uh, even though he had hacks go in his favor. I think that prep matters at the end of the day, and your margin for error is only as good as your opponent's prep in certain instances. And this is one of those instances. And I feel like that's 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 how I that's the positives I can take out of this game. Like, I don't see a point. Like, this is a game with RNG. There's going to be games where I win due to hacks as well, and that is that is how this game rolls, and that is how it's gonna be. But GG's to Tone, this was fun. I'm hoping we get to play him again in playoffs. Um, spoiler alert, sort of, not really. We have been guaranteed the buy due to other results in the BDL right now. And um, as a result, I'm just going to be memeing my last week game against Clay. Uh, we're just going to be doing a metronome battle, most likely on call. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be fun. I don't think I, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to bring out the layout and stuff. But it should be fun. It should be a fun one, guys. Uh, so, I'm hoping I'll catch y'all in the next one. My TBA game should go up in a couple of days. I'm just taking a little slow because I'm, I've been quite sick, guys. And I, I think I'm just going to take a little bit slow with the uploads. So, I'll catch y'all on the next one, guys. This is TRT signing off.